everybody. This is Sweet June 2010. Coming right back at you with another interesting video. <coughs> this video is my son's suggestion. My son suggested that I do this video. And uh, it's a good question. Why do black men like white women? Good question. Very good question. Um, let me know in the comments section uh, what you think. Uh, the reasons why. Uh, I think the reasons why is they think that white women are less submissive. Uh, I mean, more submissive than black women. They think that black women are not as submissive as white women, which I think is a stereotype. I think it's a stereotype. I think it's a stereotype. I think that depends on it. Whether you get a submissive woman depends on that individual woman. It has nothing to do with her race. Uh, not all white women are submissive. Not all black women are less submissive. You know, it, I think at the, at the end of the day, it just depends on the individual woman. Uh, but they think that uh, generally tip, tend to think that white women are more uh more submissive and uh white women are more um uh, they're easy to easier to control or uh they're they're more tolerant or they're more easygoing than the black woman and all these other things that they say um they say that a black women that we we tend to be more aggressive uh we tend to be less submissive and um things like that you know uh, we try to run the relationship and like I said that's just a bunch of stereotypes uh, it depends on the individual woman because you have some white women out there that I know that there's some white women that are with black men they take on the characteristics of a black woman they have the mentality of a black woman and they take on the characteristics of a black woman so if you have a white woman that has I, 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 I know white women that if I didn't, if I wouldn't look at them, I think they was black. And uh, you know, because of the way they talk, their mannerisms, the way they, uh, I mean, I don't know, uh, what's acting black or whatever. But people with what a black man may classify as acting black, uh, according to black women, uh, a lot of some white white women have those characteristics. But, um, so a lot of them, a lot of them have the mentality of a black woman when they're dating a black man or when they predominantly date black men, they take on the mentality of a black woman. So sometimes I don't even know what they be talking about on that. You know, I, I think that, I, I think it's at the end of the day, it's all stereotypes. You know, it's, it depends on the individual woman that you're dealing with it depends on whether what her temperament is or whether she is a uh, uh, submissive or whatever but they think that white women as a whole are more submissive and all this kind of stuff and they think that um, I just think some black men like like I said a lot of black men you know just looking at a lot of videos and black men saying that they think that black women are uh, you know, I don't know. They, they say we try to take control of the relationship. I never try to take any control over no relationship that I was in. Um, that, you know, we try to be the head all the time. And uh, But are you putting her in a position to where she feel like she has to be the head? Good question. If you're putting her in a position to where she feel like she has to take the lead, then, you know, you got to kind of have to look in the mirror at yourself on that, you know. Uh, if you're putting her in that position, then, you know, I, I think that black women, you know, as black women, we have to be very strong. Uh, us black women, we have to go through a lot. We have to experience racism and sexism, and we have to go through a lot. A lot of things are burdens are on our shoulders as black women. And, you know, we have to deal with a lot. A lot of us have to raise children on our own. We have a lot of burdens to bear, you know. 
uh, contrary to what black men believe, black women, we, we have to go through a lot as black women. We have to go through a lot. And so because as a result of that, we have to be strong. Black women have to be strong. And sometimes that strength is taken as, because of the fact that we have to be strong, that strength is taken as, or confused as being uh, overly aggressive or overly controlling or whatever. It's, it's confused as that. But if the reality, the reality is, is that black women, we have to be strong. We have to. At the end of the day, I mean, I, I've been a single mother all my life, pretty much, and I've had to be strong. I, I've had to, because I've had to be the head of the household. I've had to go to work. You know, I've had to uh, bring home the the, the bacon. Uh, I've had to uh, maintain a household. I had to raise my sons. All while going to work full time and going to school for many years. And I had to hold down the fort. I had to do it on my own and I had to hold down the fort. And I had to be strong. I didn't have a choice. I had to be strong. And, you know, a lot of in a lot of cases, a lot of black women are doing just that. And we have to be strong. Because we got a lot of odds stacked against us. We had a lot of things that we have to deal with. We had a lot of things that we have to go through as black women. And we have to be strong. And, um, you know, white women don't have to deal with a lot of things that black women have to deal with. And, and that's something that black men, a lot of black men don't understand. Well, they don't want to understand it. It's, they don't understand it's because they don't want to understand. A lot of white women don't have to deal with a lot of things that black women have to deal with. Let's face facts. Black women have to be strong. We have to be stronger than other races of women because a, a lot of things are on our shoulder. And apparently, a lot of the ills that's going on in the black community is on our shoulders as well. You know? So we got a lot on us. You know? And so we have to be strong. You know, there's no two ways about it. And so, um, that's a lot of men, black men take that as being overly aggressive and overly controlling and over domineering. But it's, the fact is, it just may, remains the fact is, is that we're just having to be really, really strong. Uh, so, um, some black men think that white women, women are more attractive. You know, they might find them more attractive than the black woman. But I think, what I think it is, is they pretty much brainwashed by the white media. <laughs> You know, they're brainwashed into thinking that white women are more attractive, you know. Um, but there's a lot of them that probably feel that way. They probably feel that white women are more attractive than black women. And they, you know, their features, as far, as far as their features and everything, are more attractive than black women. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's, you know, brainwashing has a lot to do with that. Let me know in the comment section of what you think about that one. Um, some of them may feel, I don't know, some of them might feel... I know, like I said, from judging by what they, they're coming on YouTube and saying, um, is that they think that we have, black women have bad attitudes, and they think that white women have better attitudes than we do, but the, 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 the truth is that I've encountered a lot of white women with bad attitudes, to be, um, to be honest, I think, once again, that's a stereotype, I think it, it's, a, it, it's according to the individual person the individual woman because I've encountered a lot of white women with attitudes I've worked with a lot of white women oh, uh, for a lot of over a lot of years and I have encountered white women with bad attitudes so um, you that's once again that's a stereotype and not all black women have a bad attitude so um, and not all white women have a bad, bad attitude either it depends on the individual woman and uh, I think a lot of that stuff is in their head or they're telling them or they're convincing themselves that that's the case because they've had some bad experiences with black women and they want to believe that all black women are like that. But it, once again, it's a stereotype and it depends on the individual woman. But that's what a lot of them say. A lot of them say black women have attitudes, but not all. The reality is, is not all black women have bad attitudes. I think that all women have an attitude at a certain time of the month. <laughs> If you ladies know what I'm talking about. All women have an attitude at a certain time of the month. With that certain time of the month come around, uh, most of us are not so happy. And that's, we all have that acro common across racial, every race of woman in the world has the same thing every month. So, uh, 
a lot of us are not so happy around that time of month. As a matter of fact, when black women and white women get together and we start talking about things, that's one of the things that we talk about. That's what the one thing we all have in common as, as women. We all talk about that time of the month and, you know, what the things that you go through around that time of the month. Okay, so a certain time of the month ain't none of us happy. <laughs> I mean, it's, I try to be decent regardless, <laughs> but let's come on, let's keep it real out here. So I think, like I said, bad attitude, that depends on the person, the individual woman. Uh, a lot of black men might think that, uh, I don't know. They might think like like they, they say that uh, they just they just think that white women are better than us. Period. You know, some of them think that white women are better than us. They're easier to get along with. Uh, all that, this and that, and the other. Um, let me know in the comment section of what you think. Uh, the reasons that black men prefer white women over black women. Uh, like I say, a lot of what they think is is based on a lot of stereotypes, you know, because at the end of the day, a woman is a woman, and it depends on uh, what that individual woman's personality is, but like I said, as far as, uh, a, a lot, I think a lot of things, black men confuse a lot of things because black women are very, very strong. You know, we're very strong and we have to be strong because we got a lot on us. Okay. So, just a quick video. My son requested that I do this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section of what you guys think the reasons why black men like white women. And let's talk about it. Okay, this is Sweet June 2010.